What's happening in in in? Um, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the Musicology Podcast. We're still Musicology until you tell us otherwise. Or until someone sends us a cease and desist letter. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> you got any better names? Let us know. We're we open to no suggestions. no idea if this name is taken at all. Like, um, But this is a podcast to help uh, all the drummers here in the Drum Track Sap world. And uh, it's coming from the perspective of other musicians. Yep. I'm Darius. I'm a guitar player. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were legend, Darius. You're... F- your fo- nope, I'm not. I'm not starting with the madness right now. <laughs> My tag on Instagram. You yourself legendary. <laughs> I'm just trying. To, I'm trying to be respectful. Let's keep it consistent. Here. I'm just saying. Uh, is, is legendary is 51 on the gram. So, so you are legendary. Which one is it? Listen, man. <laughs> I'm confused. Obviously. I feel like I'm being. De- <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Are we going real names or are we going Instagram handles? What are we you doing? Can, you can, your Instagram handle is going to be in the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the description, so you you can follow. Legend, le- Legendarius. Yep. Uh, appreciate y'all. And obviously, you know, you got to follow Drum Tracks. Like, jeez. Uh, Drum Tracks app. You got to follow right Drum now. Tracks app. What are you doing? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Get your life together. Period. Get your life together. As a matter of fact, fact we're going to give you subscribe. three seconds right now. Yeah, like, subscribe, <laughs> oh, no, comment. Nine. Jesus Christ. To the YouTube and Instagram. Hey, hey, hey. You, you still haven't downloaded Download. it. We're not starting this podcast, so you don't go right now. I'm waiting. <laughs> Man, it's, it's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Damani. Damani Rose of Finder Drum Tracks. Hanging out with y'all again today because um, Courtney, who will be here at some point, uh, is not today. So. Schedules are crazy. Yeah. We got a lot going on. I'm yeah. Sam God. I'm Sam saying God. it with my chest. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, uh, man. So what are we talking about today, guys? We, we're talking about uh, uh, being an artist, being your own personal artist versus being a hired gun. Yeah. And just being a hired musician. Yeah. Or side man. Side man. That's side a, person. That's a, that's a term that they use all the time. I, yeah. I didn't hear. When I thought side man, I used to think like, oh, you're the person that's not, like that's opening for the main Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Back in the day, I used to be like, "Oh, the side man must be the the other artist that's on the tour." Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Right. The yeah. lesser yeah. artist. Like, like, there's there's the headliner who has the name, and then right. there's the side. Oh, man. you're Robin. You're not Batman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <I> get it. <laughs> exactly. The sidekick. Pete, that's part of it. That's part yeah, of it. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. What it's I kind of a demeaning yeah. name. But I mean, yeah. that, hey, I didn't. I don't. I don't make the rules. Yeah. But uh, well, yeah, I I know. Um, being a, being an artist is a little more difficult than being a side man, uh, in logistically speaking, anyway. But um, I don't know. I went through a period. I think overall it's better for most of us to be an artist, uh, at, at least at some point. But for a, a period of time, I loved being a side man because I love not having to do anything but show up and play. Oh, I love that. If you're getting a good paycheck, yeah, you're just showing up and playing. Yeah, I mean, but I kind of take issue with the all the terminology because to me we're all artists you know yeah i mean it's yes. it's a term that people use to describe okay that's the person that is expressing themselves or, or they might be the one writing the music yeah or the front the person singing basically yeah. that's what you usually think of as the artist yeah and then there's just these musicians, but those are artists too, you know? I mean, yeah. I just feel like we're all artists. That's the whole point of this. Even if you're just, even if I'm just playing bass for someone, I'm coming up with my own bass lines a lot of the time, mm-hmm. you know, yes. or the way I'm playing it. Everything about yes. what's happening on the bass is me expressing myself. So yeah. I'm not, I'm never not being an artist if I'm playing music, you right. know, and I feel like everyone should be an artist because you're expressing yourself otherwise i mean you can't just be up there and be a robot like i'm just backing this well i mean that's the interesting thing to me right because i always have this give and take this this love hate relationship with the with the situation because it just depends on who you're playing for right like i've been in situations where i'm playing for an artist who does not want your perspective on the music true they True. don't want your perspective. Yeah. They want you to play it this way. And so, like, the advice that drummers get a lot, in my opinion, has to do with uh, someone giving them advice in terms of being a working musician for hire. Like, yeah. you'll hear people say things like, hey, less is more. Hey, you need to stay in the pocket. Hey, all of these things. And I'm like, you're not wrong. Those things are right. But you have to be very specific about who you're tailoring that advice to and what the what the purpose of it is. Now, if you are 
trying to be a working musician that gets hired to play for someone else, there's nothing wrong with that, number one. We all do it. Number two, right. at that point, it is just like every other job. If you go work for Apple or for Google, they're hiring you for your skills and your talents, mm -hmm. and they even want some of your creativity most of the time. Yeah. But you are there to serve their purpose. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like a utilitarian position. Yeah. You're, 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 you're serving a utility. Like, you yeah. have the chops yes. to fulfill this and role. And so I am putting, placing you in, in, in this position to, to, to fulfill my vision. And depending on the genre of music that you're playing and the artists that you're playing for individually, that freedom varies. Right. Like greatly. And yeah. so I've been in gigs where they're like, no, 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 no. I actually want you and your perspective and your yeah. artistry yes. and your creativity. Then I've been on gigs where they're like, no, I don't want your... This, I want you to play this specific thing every time the same way. I'm in a, one of those bands was cover band because your job is not to be yourself. Well, and that's the yes. ultimate utility. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> ultimate. That is yeah. Basically, you're a janitor or something at that point. <laughs> I mean, you're just like, they're just like, d play this song. Yes. Like the record. Like, like the record. Like the record. <laughs> you know, Sound reproduce exactly it. Exactly like the record. And smile while you're doing it. And, and <laughs> act like that it is the, and so like if, and so if you are, uh, someone who is hyper creative and has your own musical vision and wants to try to explore that, you might find yourself very frustrated mm -hmm. in a situation that requires you to be used for someone else's vision. Now, I say be used, but in, in most scenarios, you're, you're exchanging money for that utility. Right. And so yeah. if you want a job that... Uh, to the pays you to do music, in most cases, you are being paid to do what someone else wants you to do. And what they want you to do may be for you to be yourself sometimes. But more often than not, I've experienced that they kind of have a thing that they want you to do. And I think we yeah. all have a price to a certain extent where it's like, if I'm getting enough money, I'll feel good about it. Listen, that's, right. that, no. at the end of the day, <laughs> I, have what a it saying, is. I have a saying that, that I've been saying with a drum coach so mighty for a long time and my boy steve was like they don't pay me to like it i don't like yeah. i've been in situations and it's a good gig and they're like the other musicians are like man i'm playing this stuff sucks and i'd be like yeah you're right bro but they don't pay us to like it they're right they don't pay us and so just because you're playing music doesn't mean that you enjoy everything you're playing i'm still a person i still have preferences i right. still have things that i like and i don't like and yeah. i've played gigs and there are songs that I don't like. I play at church, and I don't like every song that we do, but, yeah. I, but I still play it to the best of my ability to bring the essence of the song out and whatever the emotion, uh, uh, the energy that it's supposed to bring so that I am still you know, acting with integrity and doing my part because I am getting something in exchange. You know what I'm saying? You're getting right. something that's, that's, only, that's the only right thing to do. But I do the, when it comes to being an artist, here's the difference. When it comes to being an artist, you are in creative control of what happens and then you start to understand why the other artists you were playing for was the way that they were with their yes. side men mm -hmm. yes. because they were you know to you you may not have liked what was going on but rem remember you were there to serve their vision now you have your musical vision right and you want guys that are unless you're a band where you guys all co-created this thing and it's your group uh, then you're vision. all the artists. Then you're yeah. all the artists. You know, like the Beatles or something Correct. like that. You Correct. Know, no one in there was a side man. Correct. Except maybe Ringo. But well, know. the other aspect is <laughs> <laughs> once you once you get to a certain level, the people that can bring your vision to fruition are not available, and that's why you have to be more strict. If that makes any sense. Good. Explain it more. I'm trying to. So understand. so if as an artist for me, I know that if I'm playing with Sam, I'm playing with Court, like. I have this thing in my head, exactly how I want it to sound, but I don't tell them that. I let them play. And most of the time what they play, I end up liking better, and I'll just be like, you know what? I like all of that, but on the bridge, I need this specific thing yeah. to happen. I so, do that too, like because I've done stuff where I'm the artist, if you could say, yeah. like I'm leading it, and it's my music, and I've yes. done other people's music. But it's yeah. like when I'm doing my music, I like to see what the musicians are going to come up with. You but know? you but also sometimes, get to determine if it's going to work or not. If I don't like it, right. I'm going to tell them. But you know? on that note, if, I'm, if I start to do something right now, Sam and Court are both busy. 
So I'm not trying to dog nobody, but there are other musicians that I can call that I don't trust in the way that I trust them. Right. I mean, that's so. Then now I have to. Yeah, they need you, more you've been, direction. You've been, you've been playing with them for years, though. Now I, I would do the same for you. I only played with you one time. Here's what I want to tell y'all. Let me tell y'all this story. <laughs> oh my said, God. Can I tell you? Can I, don't I tell know, this? Story? I don't know what story this is about. Okay. To be. <laughs> Uh, I subbed one time oh for the great God. Mino Yancey, bro. And this was the worst night of my dang on life over the past, like, however long ago that was. Since then, I haven't had a night like that. <laughs> okay. Have Now, maybe you guys are just, you know, I know you guys are like some of the greatest musicians in the world. But have you ever had a night where you can't even play Mary Had a Little Lamb? Like, you don't even know a C major scale? Yes. Okay. You just feel like you so forgot how to play. You can't do, you can't do mm-hmm. anything. I had that night, the night I was trying to sub for Mino Yancey. Courtney will tell you, I was in the lab every single day because I was so nervous because the music is like, if you miss one note, you're behind three measures immediately. Like, <laughs> right. Because it moves. Oh, yeah. Like, the, their music was you moving. You, you can't take time to get caught up yeah, on Mino you, Yancey songs. <laughs> so I was in there shedding, and I was like, I felt good. And then uh, I flubbed a little bit in rehearsal, and then Brandon sat with me. We, we worked out a couple of things, and I went and shared it some more, got to the gig, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know nothing. Yeah, that, I don't. That, that happens. And and then uh, yeah, I saw Damani a couple of months later, and I was still apologizing. I was like, <laughs> I was like Damani bro. was like, he was like, it's all good, bro. Just 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 share it better next time. I did, <laughs> I did not say that. I did not say that. I mean, but, yeah. but if you're gonna keep telling people I said that, maybe I should have said. Yeah. That. There you go. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, well, yeah, nah, yeah, we, no. all, we all have. I've had terrible nights. Terrible. Uh, sometimes you feel timid, you know? That's what I've noticed. Like, yeah, I, yeah. the nerves get you know, the you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes it's just the setting, everything. If yeah. you, maybe you didn't prepare as much as you wanted to, and yeah. then I'll just be playing more timid, you know? Right. And it's just, I can't just let loose and feel good. I'm right. just like, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 no, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. how I feel in Henry's band, the guy that I'm playing with. Yeah. But, but that's because he keeps throwing out new songs. Because he has a song book that he gave me that's this thick. Oh, right, right. And so every week it's a new one. Mm-hmm. And I'm like... Bro, you, 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 which one are we doing this week? Okay, <laughs> we spent all week working on this one, <laughs> on these three, right? And I come in and we're doing these, <laughs> and Jacob is over here having never seen the song before, but reading the chart and blazing through it. Yeah, man. And I'm just like, oh man, I'm. This is, and you know, but at the end of the day, we've all had those where you walk away, you got to lick your wounds. You know what I mean? Yeah. That happens, but mm-hmm. you know. But he and I was the artist that night, right? Uh, with my band, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was a it was but stuff happens. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. I've had myself even on the Mino Yancey gig play some stuff where it was just like, yeah, bro. <sighs> <laughs> and then of course, you know, because me me and uh, Sticks is cool. He'll come up to me and just be like, Brody, so what was that? <laughs> right, right. And be like, listen. Don't bro. worry about it. And I got, we got, if, if Sticks was on this podcast, he had stories galore. Yeah. Like, the, the, yeah, he could all kinds of, because we've been playing together since 2006. Goodness so, gracious. So it's just been, but yeah. like one thing that I, I will say that is dope as an artist is you get to be creative. And I think that um, all of the greats on whatever instrument they're playing, even if they were always sidemen and they never had their own band, all the greats are known for their, having their own sound Something yeah. that's uniquely them. Yeah. Something that they that that uh they have contributed to the world of music that stands out, that's unique. So with that being said, even if you're a side man, if you're a musician at all, you should always be looking to find your own voice and discover who you are. And that is a creative artistic endeavor in itself. Yeah. Because sometimes we can easily get so wrapped into the idea of trying to sound like the record. Because yeah. that's what everybody teaches us. That's yeah. the advice yeah. that Everybody gets and they say, well, this is the way this kind of music is played. Well, somebody made that up right. when this music didn't exist yet. Right. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody else came along and started doing things this way when right. this was happening this other way at first. And why do we at some point, for some reason, as generations go on, it's like the previous generation does it to the next, always try to, to keep the next generation doing things exactly how we did it yes. instead of, you know what I'm saying? Allowing that that creative freedom. But, like, yeah, that's like what I was talking about when I was saying we're all artists. Yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, like it the you're gonna get hired for more gigs if you do have your own voice. Right. You right. know, like 
people, someone, someone's going to feel your sound yes. and think that fits with what I'm doing. Right. You know, yeah. like you can do you in this context correct, and it's going to work, yeah. you know, yeah. whereas if you're just someone that just regurgitates everything and just imitates everything, right. you There's, know, yeah. people are going to pass you by more. You're just going to end up in, in just more cover bands and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing, nothing against nothing that. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Except that it's trash. <laughs> oh my goodness. But just to say that, you know, I, mean, I, I wish I, I, I mean, it's, it's interesting because I like, I played in cover bands, and my experience, and because of my temperament and personality, leads me to agree with you wholeheartedly. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's going to be a whole other episode yeah, where we yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, being yeah. in cover bands. But, 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 but at the same time, though, I, I still know people who play in cover bands, and if I needed the money like that, I would be in a cover band. Definitely. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I don't no not the hustle it. at all because you can you can yeah. get some. I'm gonna put it to you this way: I know musicians right now playing cover bands who make as much money as musicians that are playing for. Uh, famous artists. Don't right. get it twisted. Yes. Yep. Musicians play for famous artists. Not all of them are making. Matter of fact, the majority of them are not making that much money. Most of them, yeah. They're yep. not making. They're not making right. that much money. They have this this experience, though, right? They get to travel and they get what me and Sticks call the treatment, right? Yep. You get to be in the nice plane and get the nice hotel room and the beautiful sound check and the drums is already there because the artist has a rider. And a lot of times, <laughs> these musicians and I had a conversation with a musician that I know personally who. Who has toured a lot with a lot of different people, and his whole he's like, bro, when I would get the call just to be on the flight, just to walk on the plane, and my ticket is paid for. Yeah. That feeling alone, right? Mm -hmm. And then getting to, oh man, I get off the plane, and they, there's somebody at, at at the airport with my name on a yep. on a piece of paper waiting for me. They knew they were they knew I was coming, and they waited for me. And then I got there, and they. I get to the hotel and I'm, they're checking me in and they're like, oh yes, Mr. Such and Such, your room is such and such, here's your key. And I'm like, man. And then you yep. get to the room and this is one of the things he said. He said, I got to the room and they had to know with my name on it, bro. Like, there's <laughs> so a note with my name on it. And I'm like, yo, I totally get that, right? Yeah, Especially yeah. when you're a kid and you're dreaming about this moment. And yeah. Then, and then you you like get the gig and then you realize, oh, like, man, after you play the gig and you go home and it's over and you're still who you always been. And yep. uh, you're really riding on the coattail of the artist that you're playing for, but you're not, and you're still not, it's not like you're rich. It's not like yeah. you're famous. And they yeah. might not bring you on the next tour. Maybe, or the next you show. Know? Yeah. yeah, right. Or you, and, they don't and, have to, and nobody remembers your name. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's like, there's yeah. so many, there's so many musicians probably in your city, wherever you're watching. I know there's musicians in this city who have toured with major, major, major artists, and a lot of people may not even know who they are. But there's a world of musicians contributing to people's shows out there, and they're not. Some of them are. I knew some that were making great money. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. four or five thousand a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then there's people who are making five hundred a show, just like cover band. Yeah, but it, yeah. And what's nuts about that is somebody could be playing for Beyonce and making that five hundred, but playing for uh, Vince Staples and making that five thousand. That's true. Like it'd be nuts. You never know. Yeah. Where, you never know who's. Yeah. Yeah. Because how much are they willing to give up to their Side men. See, but, that, yeah, now, yeah. See, but this, this, this is boiling down to the conversation of like doing it for the love. Really, are you? Or why are you doing this? Yeah. Why are you pursuing a career in music? Is it because you really love this? Because it doesn't look the same for the vast majority of musicians. How many musicians do we all know that have moved to LA and are living in? You know, rehearsal studios. Right. Or, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta or, really want this. I mean, <laughs> so that, that, that's probably that's probably it's probably a whole a whole other podcast. But at the end of the day, I, I really feel like the main difference between being a sideman and being a uh, artist is the same difference of being an employee at a company and being the entrepreneur who started yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. The entrepreneur, the founder, has that vision, and they bring the people around them, the team around them, to to see it happen. The artist. You know, maybe a band of people, just like the founders of a company, may be more than one founder. Yeah, it's not necessarily one, one person. One person. It could be multiple people, but that entity comes together to create this vision, and they may need other pieces that they bring in to just fulfill, to help fulfill that vision. So if you're on a gig as a sideman or a hired musician, your job, you just need to make sure that you are doing the job description. And they're like, so when people say things like, oh, drummers shouldn't overplay, or no one should overplay, actually, they should just da 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 da. And I'd be like, I say you should do what is necessary for the job because if you got hired, exactly. if you got hired for Stanley Clark, 
And you decided to play the pocket, which to a lot of people is two and four on the snare, and kick on one and three, eighth notes on the hi-hat, and don't move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to be fired from your gig. Right. Because that's not how Stanley music, Stanley uh, Clark's music works. And that's mid-gig. <laughs> right. You'd be fired but mid-gig. If it, but if you're, yeah. if, if, if you're playing for George Clinton, then you might, that might be the yeah. thing. That's what you need. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so like when you are playing for a hired gig, follow the job description. When you are the artist, you set the job description. But all the pressure is on you. Period. You got to be willing to take on that pressure. You know? And, and know the assignment. Yeah. And if you don't know the assignment, ask. Most people will tell you. If you ask them, you know, if you ask the artist, hey, what do you want? What is it that you want? Do you just want two and four? Do you want this? If you, haven't, if you don't know already, don't be afraid to ask. Because if you don't know the assignment, you're, you're going to get dumped. You're out. <laughs> You're out. Have you ever played a gig that like someone in the band or the band leader had to come and talk to you and be like, "Hey, bro, don't do let's, that ever again." Let's let, let's talk about that. <laughs> I think I think a lot of people uh, because I've been I've been talked to like that and I've been let go from a gig, right? Okay. And I think a lot of people have not been and they have some unnecessary confidence. We'll talk about egos on another episode. Okay. But um, it's like you. Also, it keeps you from getting better. There's nothing that will make you shed like, hey, okay, so you know, you can go ahead and pack up. <laughs> right. When they tell right. you you can pack up, oh my goodness. If you that only been... needs to happen to you one time in life. I promise you. So, you know what? <laughs> when I was a kid, I grew up playing in church. Yeah. You know how often that happened to musicians? <laughs> All the Where time. Musicians yeah. would get raised up in the <laughs> middle of the song, and another drummer. All you would feel is someone else come tap you on the leg, <laughs> <laughs> grab the sticks from you while you're on the kit, and say, "I got, I got it." <laughs> and they would, and and you would have to get up, and then they and sit there though. You didn't get to walk away. You had to sit there and watch them finish your song. While everybody's playing. watching you get kicked off the right. yep, yep. In the middle of the song, bro, I've been raised up so many times. They'd be like, bro, I, I remember one time, I'll never forget it, I can see her face. <laughs> she, she was leading praise and worship at church, literally pointed to another, looked at me, pointed to another drummer in the middle of the song, mouth, get him. And he came and took the sticks from me. Wow. And pl- like, but you're, you know, I'm like, what, at that point, 11? Yeah. 12 yeah. and uh, yeah I was probably dragging I was probably doing all the things that wasn't right right mm-hmm. it just pro- wasn't happening it was that just day off. just wasn't the, wasn't the vibe and she was trying to give God the praise obviously yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was throwing her off <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day like but for me it was one of those things that was like yo I don't ever want to feel shit. this again yeah man but I of course got raised up multiple times after that but over after a while you stop getting raised up because that's the thing like you just that embar- that embarrassment crushes some people but for some people, it causes them to go in the other direction. It, yeah, it either makes you quit or get yeah. better, yeah. basically. And I, but I think that if, it, if you if you, you should quit if you quit. Yeah, because, it's not for you. Because, <laughs> it's not for you. because this, this music is not something that is like just easily gained. You really do have to earn it day you by day. Work. Oh, and, oh my yeah. goodness. And, be, and you got to get broke down. You know, you really got to get broke down and have people tell you that sucked yeah. just straight up. Like, I remember yeah. I did this jam session yeah. when I was real young. I did one jam session and the guy was this OG was like, that sounds good. Come to this real jam session. <laughs> or it wasn't even a jam session. It was like a gig over at Touch of Class. It okay. was like this OG's, touch, OG's playing jazz, you yeah. know. And I was on fire at the other jam session, you know. Yeah. Then I go to this jam session, mm-hmm. I get nervous. Yeah. You know, because this is like a, everyone's like watching the band. And yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and it's these OGs. So I'm like, I get up there, play the same song. It was like Blue Monk, it was like a blues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm just not there. And I don't know, I'm all over the place. I can not Darius, find yeah, Darius yeah, moment. Darius. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it a Darius moment from no. And the, yeah, well, and the guy just there. looks at me. <laughs> The guy just looks at me. It was Clark, actually. Clark Goodlove. Shout out, Clark. Shout out, Clark. He just looks at me in the middle of the song. He's just like, sounded better at the jam session. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang, Bro. son. So wow. that didn't happen again, though. That didn't yeah, happen man, again. Listen, every, every once in a while, I think it, it happens to you when you're young, and then it happens to you when you're old, but to yourself. Yes. Yeah. You, like, you recognize yeah. it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, at yeah. least hopefully you do. Because yeah. there's some people, I, I feel like that's one of the things that keeps people from getting better at whatever instrument they're playing is if they can't recognize honestly where they're currently at. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, there's, 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 there's a bunch of things that I can, I can go into with that, but I, I, really, I really think that there is something to being able to take constructive criticism and use it to your advantage. It hurts, and it does cause you to like reevaluate how much ego you have and why you have it, you know what I'm saying? And, I, mm-hmm. and like I've said recently, this new gig that I've been rehearsing in is like, I, sometimes I feel like, what am I doing here? Yeah. But I know what I'm doing there. I, I took the gig on in, with the intention of like, okay, I'm, I, I wanna take what I'm doing musically to an, to another level in a different direction, you know, for myself personally, just for personal growth, and putting mm-hmm. myself in this type of situation is right. one of the things that will will do it. But it, it is humbling, and you got to be able to eat that slice of humble pie. So, Bro. and that's somebody else's gig. And I don't really play a lot of other people's gigs. Right. I've, I've done I've done it before for a long time, but now also for a long time I've been playing my own stuff, right. and to go right. back into that world of playing for someone else. And right now he doesn't have any gigs. We just been rehearsing. And it's been so you just like really letting loose and getting your butt kicked in. Yeah, <laughs> week in and week out. But it, but it's those type of challenging situations that that really matter. So I know we've kind of like you know went around, went around the, the circles and stuff about you know being an artist versus being a working musician. But I think I think they get it, man. If you guys don't, I love to see your questions, comments in the. Uh, the comment section here on YouTube. And if you have had any type of crazy experience playing for someone versus being your own artist or, you know, whatever your experiences are, leave them in the comments. Let us know what it is, man. We'll, we'll Tell be- us about your embarrassing stories. <laughs> give, it, give them to us. Have you been raised up? Off the <laughs> or off Tapped the on the leg. <laughs> Somebody said, I got it, and they take the sticks from you. Listen, be You're done. It's, not, it's, it's not the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you play good the next time, they might even forget what you did last time. Yeah. Go shed. So it is what it is. Download, Download the shed. Drum Tracks app. Get <laughs> better. Go. Download the Drum Tracks app. You this know. has been Musicology with yeah. Legendarius. Sam God. Listen, I'm your boy Damani, and I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one. Peace. Holla.